So all we have to do is set up the text, nothing else? I think so, that's all it says on the info sheet. Dear sir or madam, we read your advert for the essay competition recently and decided to take part. Please find and close our essay and names of the team below. If you need any other information, do not hesitate to contact us. We look forward to your reply. Yours faithfully, Serena Hogan and Taylor Morgan. Since the students did not know the name of the person they are writing to, they used Sir or Madam instead of a name at the beginning. Again, much like in formal emails, it is followed by a comma and the first word in the next line always starts with a capital letter. When using Sir or Madam, emails usually end with Yours faithfully. Throughout the email, you should avoid contractions, such as don't or can't. Oh look, they replied. Dear Miss Hogan, dear Miss Morgan, thank you for your contribution. Your text is now being reviewed by our jury. Could you please send me a photo of the group as well? Thank you very much in advance. Yours sincerely, Phil Johnson. In the reply, Mr. Johnson was able to directly address the students because he knew their names. When mentioning names, you can use no dot after Mr. or Miss for British English or a dot when using American English. Avoid using Mrs. or Miss. When you know the name of the person you are writing to, you can use your sincerely at the end of the email. This is followed by a comma. Okay then, let's send him the photo and hope for the best. Haley, will you do the writing again? Sure. Dear Mr. Johnson, thank you for your mail. Please find attached our group photo. All the best, Serena Hogan and Haley Morgan. In their reply, the students simply wrote a short message and sent a photo. They ended their mail with all the best, which works in many contexts, including formal ones. Another option would be best regards or kind regards. Avoid using informal emails such as bye or see you soon. Make sure to always put your name in a new line.